Casey and I'm the director of the Missoula Urban Demonstration Project. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your DIY succulent terrarium kit. So if you've purchased a kit from MUD, your kit should have come with several different baggies of supplies. So you'll have a bag of rocks, you'll have a couple bags of topsoil, you'll have a couple bags of crushed glass that was left over from our crushed glass pathway that's on our site and you'll have a couple bags of moss. In addition to that, you'll also have a quart-sized mason jar, a little figurine of some sort, and a little succulent. The only other thing that you might wanna have on hand is a trusty spoon to help you get all of the layers in the jar in the way that you would like. So one of the great things about these terrariums is since the jar is clear, you'll actually get to see all the layers of the different materials in there. There's quite a bit of flexibility in what order you put the materials in. The main thing is that you just want to have either the rocks or the glass on the bottom because that's where all the excess water will drain when you're watering your plant. The other thing that's important to keep in mind is that you'll want the dirt to be on top to put your succulent into. So I'm going to start mine with the gravel and I'm just going to open up my baggie and pour it right on in there and see how that works. So we have a nice layer at the bottom, and like I said, the water will drain through the rest of the jar and rest in here if there's too much water in the whole thing. Next, I'm going to put a layer of the moss, and you might have a couple different kinds of moss. Feel free to use either one. I'm going to kind of fluff mine up a little bit so that it has a little more volume. It will probably get a little bit squished in there, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to put one layer of moss and I'm going to save my other bag of moss to put on the top to decorate around the succulent. So now that I have my layer of moss in there, I'm going to take one of my bags of glass and I'm going to put that in there next. Now when you're handling this glass, you're going to want to be careful. It could still have a few sharp edges. It should be mostly smooth, but you never can be too careful. So just be careful. Use your spoon rather than your finger to kind of spread it out in there the way you like. I think I want my glass layer to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to keep adding a little bit more. And again, I'm going to use my spoon, kind of spread it all out. All this glass was recycled locally in Missoula and then donated to us by a glass recycling company that used to be here a couple years ago. Um, so it's a great way, one of the only ways that Missoula has been recycling glass lately. And then I'm going to take one of my baggies of topsoil and I'm going to put that on next. So I'm just going to probably dump this whole thing in there. We're going to need quite a bit of soil to cover up the roots of the succulent. This is just regular potting soil. If you were going to make more of these kits, you could definitely get a specific blend for succulents or for cactuses. Um, but this one's just regular topsoil. It has a little bit of a mix of things in it. So it should keep your plant nice and happy for quite a while. And you won't need to add any fertilizers or anything like that to it. And so again, I'm using my spoon to just kind of dig out a little hole in the middle. And once I get it deep enough, I'm going to grab my succulent out of its container. I'm going to gently break up its roots if it seems root bound at all. Sometimes when they've been growing in these little pots, the roots get kind of tangled up. And so you kind of want to loosen them up and give it room to grow. So I'm just going to gently pinch the sides. Again, if you were doing this with a cactus or something, you'd want to be careful. You might even need gloves just so you didn't get those spines in your fingers. I'm going to get my fingers wiggling in the dirt a little bit more. I'm going to stick that succulent in there. And then I'm going to open up my other bag of topsoil to add a little bit on top. You want to make sure the roots are totally covered and that it's in there nice and snug. If it's too loose, you'll get air pockets. Um, where moisture could get trapped and it can rot your succulent. So you definitely don't want that to happen. So I'm going to add just a little bit more in there. 
And at this point too, depending on how your layers turned out, you can kind of decide if you want your succulent sticking out of the jar at the top, if you want it more enclosed, and you could even put a lid on top of this, and it would, then it would have its own little ecosystem almost in there. Uh, it's really up to you. Mine's gonna be a little bit below the top. Once everything gets pushed down and watered, it'll all settle a little bit. So that's important to know too, that no matter kind of what level you put it at, it'll settle as you add water and pack down these roots a little bit more. So I'm just using my fingers getting out all those air bubbles out of the root area and sticking it in there. So now we have our layers. It's looking really nice. Here, let's show this side. Um, and then I'm going to just decorate the top a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of this glass. If you had other stones like aquarium rocks or something like that, or pretty rocks that you've collected out um, from the forest, you could always put those on top to add a little bit of sparkle or a little bit of um, decoration. I'm just going to put a little bit of this glass and I'm just pouring it right on top and then I'm going to scrape it off with my spoon and my fingers and just be real careful of those potentially sharp edges. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my moss and I'm also going to decorate a little bit with that just to give it something other than the bare dirt on top. So again I'm just going to pull a little chunk out of here. I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. I'm going to tuck it around the edge and put it in there. And you can really do this however you like, whatever makes the most sense to you. And then I'm going to take my little figurine. You guys should probably have a little something in your kit. I found a little gnome friend who's going to live with this succulent. And I'm going to just tuck them in right there. And they'll be ready to go. So that's how you put it together. It's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, since this is kind of a contained system, you don't have to water it a lot, and succulents don't need a lot of water anyways. Maybe once a week, check it out, see how it's looking. The nice thing about it being so open is that you can really see the moisture in the jar. You can see if there's excess water down in the gravel, and it really won't take very much water on a regular basis. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for getting a succulent terrarium kit from MUD, and we hope we'll see you at the tool library soon.